All right, so let's uh, let's learn about the the concept uh, of a parameter, and and we'll start off with finding out, you know, what do you mean when you say a parameter? Say I have this plus uh, shaped figure in front of me, and I just take this point here and mark it as uh, as a, right? And starting from a, I keep traveling first this length here, then this length here, then this entire length here, then I go through this length then here and you know as you see I'm, I'm, I'm traveling along the the boundary of, of the figure that we have here the plus shape figure that we have here so you know I'm, I'm just keeping on traveling all around it and after traveling through it entirely I have again reached back to my point A right so this entire length that I traveled is the perimeter of this plus shape, shape figure so what is the definition of, of a perimeter? So a perimeter is defined as the distance covered distance covered along the boundary along the boundary as we just did boundary forming a closed figure. Now this is important and, and I'll, I'll tell you why is it is important forming a closed figure when you go around when you go around the figure once and this is also a pretty important thing figure once so what this this you know when when I when we say a closed figure, which means that if I have started from point A and and let me mark this uh, point as as you know point B, and I had just stopped here, that wouldn't you know define it to be the perimeter of of this of this figure, right? So I have to start from this point and come back to the same point again, which ensures that I actually form a closed figure, and I have to go around the figure once. So you know, if I if I start from A and I travel around twice, uh, that again is like is basically twice the length of the perimeter of this figure, and it won't uh, be exact the exact uh, you know value of of the perimeter of, of of this figure. So so that means our definition here is that the distance covered along the boundary forming a closed figure when you go around the figure once is the perimeter of any uh, uh, closed figure. So you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take this the same plus shape figure, and what I'll do is I'll just start assigning values to all the the uh, you know edges that are here. So let's mark it as one, 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 and one. Uh, let's mark these as three units. Uh, this is also three, and these as five units, right? So what would be my perimeter of of this of this of this plus shape figure? So I'll start from A and I'll you know say my first value here is 1 then I go 3 then 5 then this one again and then 5 again 1 and 5 then we get to this 3 plus 1 this one here then again 3 5 plus 3 plus 5 plus 1 plus 5 this 5 here and then the last is 3 so this value the end value that we'll get which is uh, let's quickly calculate this this okay this is 9 9 18 27 and 36 36 units is the perimeter of this plus shaped figure right and uh, so you know if you want to think of an example of, of where you use perimeter in real life uh, say you have you live you live in a house or you live in an apartment and it has a boundary wall so you know the length of the boundary wall could be known through uh, you know if, if you know how to find the perimeter of, of a figure or if you if you say you know say if you have you have seen a lot of farmers have their own farms and they want to put a, a you know boundary fencing uh, around the the entire farm so for that you know if they want to calculate the amount of wire that they would need for the fencing they would do it through you know the value of the perimeter of, of, of their field right all right so quickly uh, let's you know move on to uh, we have a, 
a rectangle here and we are going to you know find out the perimeter of a rectangle I'm just going to name my rectangle uh, a b c and d which means that you know uh, the perimeter of this rectangle would be the length a b right plus the length bc plus the length cd and plus the length da so i'm basically going all around this particular rectangle and coming back to a once forming a closed figure right so that is that this these if i add these values together they will give me the perimeter of a rectangle now if i see uh, since it's a rectangle would AB would be equal to uh, CD and DA would be equal in length to BC. So that means I can write this as AB plus BC and, and CD can again be you know said as AB and DA can be written as BC right. So what this essentially looks like now is twice of AB plus BC. Yes, so AB is nothing but the length L of this rectangle and BC is nothing but the width or breadth of this rectangle, right? So if I just, uh, I mean, mark, it, mark uh, AB as the length and BC as the width or the breadth, then I get the perimeter of a rectangle so basically the perimeter of rectangle that you can tell me now is perimeter of rectangle is twice the sum of its length and breadth Right. So, uh, you know, if you remember this, you can always find out and calculate the length of a, uh, the, the perimeter of a rectangle very quickly. And let's let's find out the, the you know, uh, perimeter of some special cases. Let's take the example of a square. Uh, you know, so square, as you know, is a special case of a rectangle where all the uh, lengths of the sides are, are equal. Right. And, and so... Uh, in, in this case, uh, you know, if I, if I take the case of a square and I try to, uh, uh, you know, find the, the, the uh, perimeter of a square. So the perimeter of this square would be uh, A plus A plus A plus A that would cover all the sides, uh, uh, you know, of, of, of this square and which would mean it's 4A which is nothing but 4 into length of sides of square. Now if I take the case of an equilateral triangle, equilateral triangle and you know I want to find the, the uh, perimeter of this triangle here and let's say each of the sides is uh, measured as L, L and L since this is an equilateral triangle. So here the perimeter of this triangle would be nothing but L plus L plus L, right? So the first L is here, then here and here and we form the closed figure. So this is nothing but 3L or is equal to 3 into length of side right so uh, now you know in case of a square it is 4 into length of the side in, in, in an equilateral triangle it's 3 into length of side and, and we can use this to you know sort of extrapolate it to other figures such as a, a, a pentagon or a, a hexagon or an octagon as well uh, and, and it's simple that in case of a pentagon uh, the perimeter would be 5 into length of each side for a hexagon which has 6 sides it will be 6 into length of each side and for an octagon it will be 8 into length of each side 
and so you know if you have a regular figure such as a square or an equilateral triangle or a pentagon or a hexagon or an octagon the perimeter is always going to be the number of sides into length of each side right so this is a special case uh, and let's finally you know take up a formula uh, let, let's take up a question and and try and find out uh, how how to find uh, you know get get the answer here so my question says that rahul runs around a rectangular park of length 30 meter and width 15 meter so let me draw the park around which uh, uh, rahul runs right so let's say this is the park and it has a length of 30 meter and it has a width of 15 meter so it's nothing but a rectangular uh, uh, park you know with with these sides and uh, just to make it easier for us to do our work we'll name each corner as a b c d and let's see what current does current runs around a square park of side 25 meters so let's draw the park where uh, current runs around and we have drawn the square park here and we'll just name this as e uh, e f g and and a, h and each of these sides is 25 meters right so now we have the parks where where uh, karan and rahul run so let's find out the perimeter uh, you know uh, of of this this because you know if if we are if they run around this park which means that they're basically running on the boundary of of this this park or you know or, you know or, or of this park and and since they are running around the boundary of this these parks we can safely say that you know if we are able to find the perimeter of the rectangle then we can uh, you know we can, we can actually know as to how much are they running in each uh, or you know on each lap right so so for for the perimeter of of uh, uh, you know a b c d perimeter of a b c d is going to be nothing but uh, 2 times into the uh, length which is 30 meters here and width which is 15 meters here and in solving this I find out that it is 90 meters so the area so the length that that Rahul runs uh, in each lap is 90 meters right so let's find that whether whether current runs more on each lap so let's say let's say current starts from E and runs all the way through uh, through the square park so the perimeter of this square uh, which is E, F, G and H is nothing but 4 into length of each side which is 25 and this is basically 100 meters. So it means that current runs 100 meters which is uh, in each lab which is greater than what Rahul runs in each lab which is 90 meters and the uh, you know the, the the length by which uh, current ru runs more on every lap is basically nothing but 90 minus 100 minus 90 degree, 90 meters which is 10 meters and you know that's how easily you can find out uh, the the uh, the answer to problems like this using the perimeter of a figure